Molly always liked to bring Tomcat over to Millie's house. Hi, Millie. Hi, Molly. Because Tomcat liked to play with Marmalade. Where's Ma Marmalade? Uh-oh. But Millie's dad didn't like to play with Marmalade. She's on my chair. Marmalade? Again. Naughty cat. You know you're not allowed on Dad's chair. And drinking my tea. Again. Cats don't touch human food, remember? Marmalade? Shoo! Sorry, Dad. I'll get you a new one. Come on, Marmalade. Tomcat wants to play with you. I'll keep Marmalade busy outside, Dad. She won't annoy you anymore. <laughs> I find that hard to believe. The next day at school, Millie and Molly were busy making a present for Millie's dad. Good work, everyone. I can see that you're all using craft time to make something useful. Your dad's going to really like this bird bath. I hope it'll take his mind off Marmalade. She really annoys him. And what's that you're making, Harry? It's a double bed quilt for Brian and Bryony. Oh, Brian and Bryony must be very tiny. <laughs> Remember Harry's pet mice? Oh, yes. Oh, how could I forget? And there's a little bow for each of them, so I know who's who. Pink for Bryony and blue for Brian. <laughs> Lucky little mice. So do you like it, Dad? Oh, I love it, Millie. And the birds are going to love it too. Hmm. I wonder what sort of bird that is. Look in your bird book, Dad. Hmm. Could be that one. Oh, there's a lot that look like that. What's on the next page, Dad? Gosh, this book's full of beautiful birds. Hey, look at that one. Hmm. Marmalade? No! Shoo! 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 Millie! Can you keep Marmalade away from here? I'm worried she's going to hurt one of these beautiful birds. I'll keep Marmalade shut in the house. The birds will be safe. Yes, that's much better, Millie. Shoo! <laughs> Millie would have to hurry if she was going to clean up another marmalade mess before Dad found out. Now, I just need to check that soccer score. What? Why is this chair all wet? Marmalade? Oh, oh that's disgusting. No, not that. She knocked the vase over. It's just water. The vase? There's water everywhere. At least the birds are safe, Dad. Yes, but for how long? The next day, Molly was taking Tomcat for a walk. And trying to sneak past Snippy Aunt Maud without being seen. Ah, just the person I want to see. I've got an important job that wants doing. I need you and that cat of yours, and Millie and her cat. I've got a terrible outbreak of mice in my garden shed, and I want your cats to hunt them. Well, all right? Yes, Aunt Maud. Over at Millie's house, Marmalade was going the right way to cause more trouble. It was right here. Millie, where's the remote? Um, I don't... Marmalade, naughty cat! That cat again? Here, Dad. Oh. It might still work. <laughs> Back door shut. I don't want her out there with those birds. Millie, they're coming the back way. Marmalade. Marmalade. <laughs> <laughs> 
Don't you dare go outside. And those birds do not belong together. Millie and Molly were on their way to Aunt Maud's to help with her mice crisis. Do you really think that Tom Cat and Marmalade can help? But Millie couldn't get her mind off what Dad had said about Marmalade and the birds not belonging together. I just wish I'd never given Dad that stupid bird bath. Then he wouldn't be so angry with Marmalade. Now all the trouble is inside this shed. <gasps> Look at the mess. Wow, hundreds of mice must have moved in here. Hundreds, if not thousands. Did you see them? No, but you can tell by all the damage the wretched pests have done. Have you found anything yet? No. Oh, wait. Look! The hole where the mice are getting in! Yes! So now we put a cardboard box over it, shut the cats in the shed overnight, and when the mice try to escape through the hole, they'll end up in the box! And now for sport with Jimmy Jingles. There was an offset at the French Open when top seed Anna Canova. Strong gusty northerly winds ahead of a cool change. Rain at times clearing to a fine day. The for the next week it's the so peaceful around here. You mean without marmalade? It's just cats and birds. They don't really get along together, do they? So you think marmalade should stay at Aunt Maud's? Now that's a thought. Hmm. The next morning, Molly was eager to see if the mousetrap had worked. The cats are fast asleep. They must have been exhausted from chasing all those hundreds of mice. Well, I certainly hope so. Millie, let's check the trap. OK. But all Millie could think about was being parted from marmalade. Oh! <laughs> What's so funny? Hundreds of mice? Thousands of mice. No. Brian and Bryony. Brian and Bryony. Harry's pet mice. He just lives down the street. What? Two tiny pet mice did all that damage? <laughs> Tomcat, you big brave hunter, trapping all those mean, scary mice. Marmalade, I miss you so much. Well, they certainly deserve their milk. Then I'll take you to the pet shop. Buy a gift each for your cats. That's very kind, Aunt Maud. Fiddlesticks. The cats did a good job. Perhaps one of them could stay here. Permanently. No. Tomcat and I, we belong together. Millie, that marmalade cat would be useful around here. Um, I, uh, I'll think about it. You do that. forgotten to close the cage door when I put their quilt in. They look so happy to be home. I thought I'd never see them again. It was awful not having my pets here with me. So from now on, Harry, you should take better care of them and keep them under control. Later that morning, Aunt Maud took Millie and Molly and Marmalade and Tomcat to the pet shop. I think Tomcat wants this fairy ball. Millie? What does Marmalade want? I haven't got all day. Looks like she wants a budgie for morning tea. Marmalade, naughty cat! Well, come on, pick something out. Hey, did you see what those birds did when they heard that bell? Yes. Why? I think Marmalade has just found exactly what she needs, Aunt Maud. But Millie, the beautiful 
little bird. It looks like it's about to become that cat's lunch. Just wait and see what happens. Oh, <laughs> saved by the bell. Sweet Dad, can Marmalade stay? Mm-hmm. I hadn't even thought about her moving to Aunt Maud's till you suggested it. Really? I know how much she means to you. And now we can all get along together. Ha, 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 ha,